Hey guys, Philip Passmore here, and I'm once again looking at manufacturing. And there's one thing that's really been annoying me. I really wanted to be able to make large quantities of hull plating. I mean, I've got this set up so I can just make random ship components, and that is that. This is working quite well. I mean, every so often I empty it of components and then put them all back through, and more often than not, I get a bunch of um, ship parts come through. Now, I did try a large sort of hole. Well, I did try a large hole plating uh, sort of setup, and it didn't work. Yeah, there's not much I can really say. Um, unfortunately, if you put in, I think it's 500 rock, it will make a science bottle. And if you put in five of these, was it flexitanium? It will make, I think it's an SD2000 flux coil. That's a bit scary, I can remember that. Um, yes, to stare at my spreadsheet slightly too long. Now, the issue here, the big issue here, really, is if I was to put in. So, my plan was. I've actually got these disconnected at the moment because I'm going to remove them. Uh, the plan was simply to connect that the top one with the top four and the bottom one with the bottom four. Shove in four plexitanium into each with, I think it was uh, 300? No, it was 100 rock into each of these. So 25 rock will go to each of these. Uh, one plexitanium will go to each of these. Well, that was a plan anyway, and yeah, it doesn't behave like that. Instead, the rock was all going to one uh, particle press in each row, and it was being hoarded uh, to try and get. Well, it was being hoarded so it would try and make um, science bottles. However, the plexitanium was wasn't. Well, the plexitanium actually did spread out, which just made this even more awkward because at least then, you know, if four was going to that and that, then at least it would be making whole plating. Not very fast, but at least it would. But I don't think there's a way of doing it currently, and it's quite disappointing. Um, I was hoping, really. Really, I need some sort of way of telling the particle press what to make. Because once that's added, once some more control has been put in, then I'll be laughing. Because then I can say, don't make science bottles and don't make the SD2000 flux coils. So, it's a bit of a pity. And if anyone's interested in making large scale hole plating sort of set up in manufacturing, my advice is don't. Uh, your best choice currently is to just find the space station. I mean, the the, the neutral space stations floating around. There is no NPC protection. There is no shields. There is nothing stopping you just flying straight up to these uh, space stations and strip mining them. And all the hole plating is about three thick, two thick in places. Oh, and there's plexiglass everywhere. Um, plexiglass is a complete pain to make because that was actually one other item I was considering making. Um, let me double check. And ch -ch 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 -ch. I think plexiglass required. I think it's a 10,000 version. Yeah. It required uh, plexitanium L1. That's not too much of a problem. Protein 3000B. That's more of a problem. And your whole nucleus. And I still don't know where to get your whole nucleus from. Um, my whole, yeah. I don't think I've come across it yet. But, yeah. So, unfortunately, I don't think it's currently possible. I mean, if anyone's got any solutions, I would, I would love to hear them, to be honest. What I, well, what I did originally think of doing was... Having something like eight factory inputs and one factory input there, but I found it just the particle presses just took everything through. 
what they dem wanted and the issue with Rock going to one of them remained and the fact is even if this worked even this is even if this worked well you're still here dumping for uh you know perplexanium and a hundred rock in and then switching to everyone and doing the same and then repeating i mean you can put enhancers on and that would speed up the process but at least on the particle process side but it's still really labor intensive and all you would be getting for doing that each time is four hole plating four and we're talking just gray gray hole plating it's it's not worth it <laughs> I really wish it was. I, I would have absolutely loved this to work, but I don't think it will. So I'm going to probably keep trying, and I mean, I probably will use this area to. Tr I've been looking at trying to work out the best sort of matches for the Skymadime units so we don't have um, ore hoarding issues, at least not to the same extent as that has. Well, it's not all hoard, hoarding issues, it's component hoarding. But, you know, once you put the components back through a system, it, it normally solves itself because everything's split much more fairly than when it's been taken from the particle presses. So, yeah, that's some bad news, I'm afraid, guys. And hopefully, this will change in future updates, and I really hope it does. And. If anyone has any suggestions on how to get this to work, I'd love. I, I, I say again, I would love to hear them, because there's got to be a way. But I just don't think I've. The ideas I've tried, I keep hitting the same problems. It's I may be making science bottles, which are essentially, but they're not completely useless. They do have some uses, um, but without going to minor planet uh, yeah they're useless to me at the moment and I've got so many of the because Reflexitanium is actually a really common ore in my area of space uh, to a point where I'm getting frustrated with finding the damn stuff and mining is a bit annoying in that regard at the moment for me but yeah well sorry about that guys and I'm gonna keep trying to play around. Yeah, I'll keep playing around with this and see if I can come up with anything that might work. But you know, if it does, it does, and if it doesn't, then I'll just have to wait until eventually it's patched. And so, yeah, it's a shame I didn't have more success with this. But I mean, you can always do the really labor-intensive process of what is it? Ten? I don't know, not ten. It's a hundred. It's twenty-five to each one. And uh, wow. Okay, let's try that again without making more flux capacitors because that's the last thing I really need. There we go. And you, you can do that, and it's just really labor intensive. And I mean, when there's space stations floating around which you can strip mine for thousands, I mean, I, I've mined one space station. Um, ages ago actually and as you can see I still have huge quantities of the stuff I mean I've used a, a huge amount that's where most of these lights came from was a space station which I just you know, sat over my mining lasers and the thing is mining a space station is more fun <laughs> particularly in a group it is a bit of a laugh in a group just to sit there watching all the mining lasers cut through the space station but yeah, it's a lot more fun than sitting next to a particle press and dumping materials in. Uh, that's just the situation. So thanks for watching, guys. And I mean, I'll keep I'll keep trying to get something rigged up, but I doubt it's going to work in its in the current build. And yeah, so if you like this video, hit like. Um, subscribe to the channel for more future videos. I really do want to spend more time actually looking at manufacturing and I do feel that I, I, I feel that this has a lot of potential 
and really this is my redstone I mean I loved Minecraft for its redstone and this is this is my redstone in star made you know this is gonna keep me entertained for hours and I'm gonna have so much fun with this and as this hopefully improves and we get more control then I can just imagine this getting better so thanks for watching guys 